Hour Show with Nigel, and this is Nigel's wonderful Ford GT40. And Nigel, would you like to tell us a little bit about, about the car and about how long you've had it? Yes, I, I raced cars uh, for 30 odd years, and I've always loved the GT40. I had one of the originals back in the 60s. And uh, when I saw the opportunity to import the recreations of the car, I thought this is the way to go. And so I became the agent in 2003 and actually bring the cars in. This is my personal car, which isn't registered yet, but it's got the latest um, race modifications. They're actually built in South Africa uh, by a company called Hitech, and they're marketed in, mainly in the USA by Superformance, uh, which is the, they, they do Cobras and, and other bits and pieces. And so when I brought this particular car in, I sent the engine a gearbox from the United States to South Africa, and it was fitted in South Africa and then came to England. And that's how the system works. But an original car is a million plus. These are just over a hundred thousand pounds. So in terms of value for money, it's really good move. Really good move. So what is it you love about the GT4? It's the shape. It's completely iconic. And the amazing thing is even the small kiddies that run around when they were available uh, still recognise it. Oh, it's a Ford GT. You know, they, they know the car. And for something that's sixty something years old, it's, it's still you know, relevant today. It's an iconic motor. When you think that Ford. I've forgotten what the budget was, it was unlimited to beat Ferrari at Le Mans. So it was a big manufacturer spending millions and millions and millions of dollars to win the Le Mans race, which they did in 66, again in 68 and 69. And I think that's what makes it so iconic. The engine is, is basically a Ford, which that would make sense, but it's modified by uh, one of the bigger, it's like AMG is to Mercedes, Roush is to Ford, and they do the NASCAR engines. And so we've actually got a fuel injected, therefore emission compliant for modern roads. Uh, 342 is a 5.6 liter engine, puts out about 490 horsepower. But it's street legal, so it's you can have a, a real buzz going down to the pub on a, a Sunday morning, etc. So what modifications have you made to the car? Uh, very little actually, I mean apart from as I was mentioning earlier, the racing has got a roll cage in it and it's got the um, canard fins and the gurney tab on the back, so it's a little bit of a race car, just a little bit more uh, appeal really, but, but the car is as they were, it's just a fairly standard motor. The last car I did, I did as a tribute, my last episode, there was a tribute to the uh, golf car, which was the, the light blue with the orange stripe, but this time, when I actually ordered this car, Braun had just won the World Championship, so it was just over a year ago. And I thought it'd be nice to do the car in brown colours, and that's that's why it's this colour. When this is finally registered, the number will be FGT40, which is rather an interesting play on words. It was on my previous demonstrator, and will be on this one later.